Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm thrilled that you've joined me on numerologist.com. I'm here with this month's crystal astro numerology forecast for a little bit of everything. So we are beginning with inviting you to select crystal one, two or three for a personal message. So just place your hands over your heart just for a moment. We do this in the angel videos as well. And invite your heart, invite your soul, invite your higher self, your guide, your angels, the light, the divine to guide you to message one, two or three. Those messages are linked in with crystals and those crystals are linked in with other energies that are moving through this month. All right, did you get your number? Good. Okay. So let's begin just by sharing that this is July. This is the seventh month. This is a 12 year. Seven plus 12 is 19. And that energy of 19, 19 is in the tarot, the number of the sun. And it's perfect because in Chaldean numerology, I love Chaldean numerology, number 19 is the prince of heaven. It's the rising sun. It's the number of surrender. So when you look at that energy of the sun and connect to that vibration of the sun, your star sign, your zodiac sign is where the sun is in the heavens. So you are the sun. Your energy is the sun, the light. So this is your month, no matter what zodiac sign you are. This is your month. This is your vibration, your ability this month to shine. So whatever is happening in this month is going to have a really solid impact on your soul, on your light. So this number 19 vibration around surrendering is what do you need to let go of? What do you need to surrender to? Who do you need to surrender to? Is it to the divine? Is it to yourself? Is it to a career that maybe is working for you or it isn't working for you? What do you need to surrender? Do you need to surrender to love, to passion? Do you need to surrender to the universe to allow abundance to flow? Do you need to surrender to nature? Because these flowers right here, it's about growth, potential, blossoming. Do you need to surrender to the light and just allow that light to shine in your life and show you where you need to go and where you've come from to help you to celebrate where you've come from? I've taken some crystals for each of the energies for this month. So we are, we have this amazing new moon in Cancer and it's a solar eclipse at the same time. It's a total solar eclipse. What came up is this piece of tourmaline, this beautiful piece of tourmaline. And this is about protection, but it's also about reflections in your life as well. So for you, number one, crystal number one, the tourmaline energy is saying that you are protected, you're cared for, you're looked after, you're going to be okay. But it may be that you're feeling particularly sensitive, especially with that moon moving into cancer. That's a time of sensitivity for sure. Cancer nurtures the home and the home is external and internal. So this is about you nurturing yourself, looking after yourself, maybe taking time for yourself. Maybe this tourmaline is about you turning your back on giving to other people, giving externally, and maybe it's time for you to go internally and look after yourself. The tourmaline as well is, you know, I feel like it's just to look around you at the reflections in your life. What are you creating in your life? What is being reflected by your inner world at this moment? And I feel this tourmaline, this tourmaline is telling you, sharing that message with you at this moment as well. With new moons, the new moons are often about new beginnings. But the tourmaline and the eclipse 
are inviting you maybe to step back from a new beginning and wait a little while. Instead, to move internally, to go inside, to go into that place within yourself, like a dark place maybe within yourself, and find within that darkness your light. That's this sun energy throughout this month, right? The next lunar vibration after the new moon, of course, is the full moon that we want to look at. And that full moon, it's eclipse season, the full moon is linked in with a partial lunar eclipse, that's on the 16th, and that's in Capricorn. And for you, number two, your stone is stitched eye, and this is linked in with that full moon, that full moon vibration in Capricorn. And I, I really felt with this, you know, this is a, a stone, it's beautiful, it's lilac, lilac pink, it's often linked in with relationships and sensitivity, caring for yourself, it seems like that's what the theme is this month is about caring for yourself, looking after yourself. With that full moon moving through Capricorn, Capricorn is the 10th house, which is your career, your your public persona, how people see you. And with that lunar eclipse that's there, it may be that you're not necessarily seen in the light that you want to be seen in. So again, go inside of yourself, number two, if you chose number two, go inside of yourself and just get a sense of how do you want to be seen? How do you want people to perceive you? How do you want people to remember you? How do you want to shine that light so that it's going to benefit all, not just yourself, but everybody? There may be decisions around your career right now that it, there's almost a sense of don't make too many big decisions around your career. Let that just brew a little while within this pink lilac color. It looks like things are going to be changing around your job, around your your focus on what you do in the world. There's almost a sense of maybe moving in a different direction towards something that you love. And it's not saying that what you're doing right now you don't love, but it could be that there's a new energy of love that's brewing, that's coming to the surface. And this pink, this pink lilac color with the stitch light, it feels like it's saying that you are opening a new vibration within your heart, opening up to new possibilities. And that new possibility, because it's linked in with a full moon for you, can be around your career. I also feel, it's kind of interesting, it feels like there's a connection to travel with this as well. So you might find yourself looking at places to go that really feel connected to your soul as opposed to just going for a vacation. There's a sense of soul seeking that's coming up for you as well. All right, so our final stone connects in with Mercury retrograde. Mercury moves retrograde this month. It's almost the whole of the month. It's from the 7th towards the 31st of July. And it's moving retrograde through Leo and Cancer is moving back into Cancer and that sensitivity again. So that sensitivity seems to move through the whole month. The stone that came up is this little, sh this little slice of celestite. This comes from a piece that is in my bag and it broke off. And I almost feel as if, you know, celestite is, it's an angel stone. It's uh, a, an energy of being able to see clearer, having more clarity, etc. And yet with Mercury retrograde, you don't always get that clarity. So when I'm looking at this and feeling into it, it doesn't have the clarity that you would like. There's still some little pieces in there that are a little bit sort of cloudy. So it may be for you, number three, that you haven't got the clarity that you're seeking yet. That, you know, after the end of the month, when Mercury moves direct again, that that will be the time, moving into August, that that will be the time to get more clarity. But at the moment, it could be that you're seeking that clarity and you just need to 
maybe take some time out from it. You know how when you're looking for keys, you can't find them until you stop looking? And there they are right in front of you. And there's a sense this, that's coming up with me the same thing with this cellist type. I'm also feeling because it's cellist type and it has a connection to the angelic realm, that there's an opportunity for you right now to really connect with the angels, to connect with your guides, to connect with your higher self, with source. Because if you think about it with Mercury retrograde, it tends to put communication a little bit off, a little bit off center maybe, around technology, uh, around the people that you're, you're working with, your relationships, etc. So maybe this is an opportunity for you to connect with those beings that are in spirit, around you, a different kind of communication. So that retrograde is moving you internally, a little bit like all the energy is moving internally this month, isn't it? It will help you to move internally so that you can deepen that, strengthen that communication with your spirit team. I feel like there's something else in this particular stone because it broke off from the main stone, from the main celestite crystal i feel almost as if you might find yourself breaking away from something or someone that it could be that because mercury is moving retrograde that you are going to start retreating and moving away from someone or something that you haven't had a lot of clarity around or you haven't had a lot of confidence in disconnecting but now it looks like you're going to find that confidence and I feel that your spirit team your soul is going to help you with that it's going to help you to realize especially within the blue maybe a new purpose a new path a new connection maybe a new tribe as well okay that's it for this month's crystal astro numerology forecast i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you and do remember to subscribe to the numerologist channel there's lots of wonderful goodies there for you i will see you next month with another forecast lots of love and crystal blessings to you <laughs> bye for now bye